You're about to go head to head for your chance to win a share of 30,000 Rand in the 2021 Discam Junior Brain of Cape Talk. Seven minutes past 11 it is in Gosika Kulu Abongile. Welcome to the Discam Junior Brain of Cape Talk, proudly brought to you by Discam, pharmacists who care for a winning mind in a healthy body. As Abongile indicated, my name is Africa Milane. I host the early breakfast show on Cape Talk. And my word, what a wonderful, beautiful pearl of a Saturday to finish what has been a wonderful four weeks of uh, quizzes and trivia and knowledge and we're going to start off as always this morning with the junior brain where the winners of Monday through Friday already winning themselves 1,500 Rand by winning that round with Rufilo Moloto are going to go head to head in determining who this ultimate week's winner is and of course to help me do that is none other than the host of the afternoon drive show right here on Cape Talk Bro, John Matham. Hello, John. Big fat guy. I mean, like... Far oh, from it. <laughs> no, uh, this is a quote from Kaiser Sose. Oh, is it? Yes. Is it? Of course. I'm I a do big apologize. fat guy. I mean, like orca fat. <laughs> <laughs> How are you this Saturday, John? Uh, I am oh, it's just so excited to be in the studio, to be here with you and Mario and Stefan and Cecile. I cannot imagine a better Saturday. I can, but... <laughs> We'll get you to that Saturday without haste, I promise you. Um, Five amazing young geniuses waiting on the line. How are we going to go through the competition this morning? You've forgotten. (laughs) (laughs) The same as every day, the same as every Saturday, except it's slightly different on Saturday from Monday through to Friday because we have uh, 25 questions and 90 seconds. Otherwise, it's exactly the same. If a contestant gives the correct answer, I say correct. If they give the incorrect answer or pass, I give the correct answer. If there's a spelling question and they pass that, I spell the word out. And at the end of it all, if there is a clear winner, that person gets a thousand rand discount voucher if there are two or more people on the same score we go to sudden death and with that let's go to the monday's winner of the junior brain and that winner is lucy an 11 year old from uh it doesn't say actually from where attends heschel girls school currently doing grade six and uh, lucy i believe your favorite subjects are mathematics and english good morning morning uh, do you get the talent for maths and english from your mom or your dad do you think I think English from mom and maths from dad. That is the perfect answer to give to an appropriate question of this nature. Better than I came up with it myself. They're both (laughs) quite dumb, actually, Africa. (laughs) Lucy, I promise you, John is the nicest man on earth. He's about to take you through your set of questions. John, all over to you. Uh, Lucy, I'm not the nicest man on earth. Your dad is Africa's number two, and I might come in at number three, so... How are you feeling? Are you happy to be first or would you like to be waiting to hear how the other contestants do? Um, I don't really mind. I'm a little nervous though. Okay. All right. Well, just take a couple of deep breaths. Uh, you got to being on the radio this morning by being clever on Monday morning, by knowing a, the answer to a lot of questions. So why shouldn't you do as well, if not better, tomorrow? Are you ready, Lucy? Yes. Mario, please start the clock. Three, two, one. Spell the word biology. B-I-O-L-O-G-O-L-Y. Not quite correct. Complete the saying. He had butterflies in his... Stomach. Yes. True or false, flightless birds have no wings. Uh, true. False. Does the word spoil mean ruin or help? Ruin. Correct. Give the noun in this phrase. He jumps over the stream. Stream. Correct. Which is an odd number, 31 or 34? 31. Correct. In cartoons, what colour shorts does Bart Simpson wear? Um, green. Blue. Which country is closer to South Africa, Egypt or Burundi? Burundi. Correct. True or false? Bloemfontein lies on the N1 national road. Um, true. Correct. Which is a South African town, Pares or Khabarone? Um, what is the difference between 41 and 29? Um, pass. 12. What is the third letter in the word millionaire? 
Um, L. Correct. On social media, a big mistake is known as an epic... Fail. Correct. And in on time. So we completed 13 questions while the judges are tallying. Lucy, let's go through. Um, I can't remember exactly how you spelled biology, but I do know that you spelled it incorrectly. It is B-I-O-L-O-G-Y. Flightless birds do have wings, but they're not able to use those wings to fly. John, you so would know. Can you give an example of what a flightless bird An ostrich. Would be? An ostrich, of course. Yeah, yes. That's the most obvious one. Um, the noun, odd number, you got that right. Yes, uh, Bert, Bart Simpson wears blue shorts. Burundi is quite a lot closer to South Africa than Egypt is. Uh, Burundi is just more than halfway between South Africa and Egypt. Um, I'm not sure what the answer was to the question, which is the South African town, Pereis or Khabaroni. Pereis is uh, the South African town. Khabaroni is the capital of Botswana, but I'm not sure. I couldn't hear what Lucy said. Uh, the difference between 41 and 29 is 12. All right, Stefan. Uh, Stefan, uh, to question number 10, which was, which is a South African town, Paris or Khabaroni? Uh, the answer was not audible. What did the judges make of that? We did not accept Africa as we could not hear the answer either, even upon revision. So we're not going to accept. Lucy then completed a total of 13 questions and Lucy scored eight. Eight. Uh, how are you feeling about that score, Lucy? Um, good. Good. I like that. And I must admit, you answered that question of Bloemfontein being on the N1 as if you have driven that road enough times. Lucy, let's find out if eight is going to be enough to win you the prize. Uh, trying to, I suppose, make sure they take the leaderboard is uh, Tuesday's uh, brain, or uh, junior brain. His name is Ukamva, 12-year-old from Bastion Primary School in Brackenfell. His favorite subjects are economics and management sciences, geography and mathematics. And he is quite interested in cricket, hockey, as well as Comedy. Gamva, do you have a favorite comedian? Uh, not really, but I do enjoy um, listening to all of them. All right. I the can correct give you... answer was John Mayfield. <laughs> <laughs> After this, Gamva, I'll give you a list of South African comedians that I think you should absolutely listen to who are going to be absolutely funny. <laughs> it's going to have to be a short list because most of them use a lot of words that Very it's good not point. Very good point. Very proper good point. for a 12 year old to be listening to, although I'm sure they are very familiar. Too. Well, Gamva, eight is a score to beat. I'll now hand you over to John Maytham to see if he can do better than that. Good luck. Gamva, you need to get at least eight. If you do, then we have two people on the the same score and we have the possibility of sudden death nine or more you're the outright leader at this fairly early stage seven or fewer and i'm afraid that is your participation in the junior brain of cape talk done are you ready Kamva? i am ready please start the clock mario three two one spell the word ceiling s-e-e-l-i-n-g Incorrect. Complete the saying, here's a big what in a small pond. Boss. Fish. True or false, prawns are marine mammals. True. False. Does the word sprain mean straighten or twist? Twist. Correct. Give the verb in this phrase, you hit the nail on the head. Hit. Correct. Which is an even number, 13 or 18? 18. Correct. In the Despicable Me movies, what colour are the minions? Yellow. Correct. Which country is closer to South Africa, Kenya or Algeria? Kenya. Correct. True or false, Durban lies on the N2 National Road? False. True. Which is a South African road? Secunda, South African town, Secunda or Bermuda? Secunda. Correct. What is the sum of 16 and 21? 38. 37. What is the third letter in the word exactly? E. A. When you say a famous person is the goat, it means the what of all time? Greatest of all Correct. time. Correct. Which is South Africa's largest provincial capital? Um, Kimberley. Johannesburg. In which part of your body are your pecs? Um... The answer is chest. So we managed to complete 15 questions. 
Sealing, it's spelt here as C-E-I-L-I-N-G. I would have had to accept as a homonym S-E-A-L. I N G. I went around the room sealing all of the holes that the mice are getting through to steal my cheese. He's a big fish in a small pond. Prawns are not marine mammals. They are crustaceans. Then you got a lot of correct answers. Um, Durban lies on both the N3 and the N4 roads. The N3 culminates in Durban. The N2 goes up through Durban and then further up the KwaZulu Natal coast. Uh, 16 and 21 are 37, not 38. And Johannesburg is the largest provincial capital. The pecs, the pectorals, looking at the three, four of us in here. Um, Africa has the closest thing to oh, pecs thank you, of John. the four thank of you. us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Gamva, uh, there is no better way of getting to Johannes- I mean, to Durban, actually, by taking the N2, going through the Southern Cape, past the Eastern Cape, the Wild Coast, if you can, as you're veering off the N2, and then make your way to Durban. Stay there for a couple of days. Fly back to Cape Town, because this is truly the best city in the world, no doubt. Stefan, how did uh, Gamva do? Kamva was chasing eight, completing 14 questions. Kamva scored seven. Seven, which means, Kamva, unfortunately, you have not overtaken Lucy, our Monday's junior brain, from being leader of the pack. So she's still very much in line of winning that discount voucher worth 1,000 rand. Patrick is Wednesday's winner, 11 years old, attending South African College Junior School. His favorite subjects are mathematics as well as art. Uh, His interests are all, uh, all sports, really, indoor hockey, cricket, swimming, water polo. And he enjoys watching Survivor with his family. And I can tell you this much. Patrick, that's one thing you have in common with John because John loves Survivor as well. Do you have a particular, I don't know, season or destination? What do you call it, John, where they, they film these things? Well, the, the, the season. The because season. They, they see they, um, the, um, the most recent ones have pretty much all been filmed in and around Fiji. So, okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, do you have a, a particular favorite uh, season, Patrick, or does it not really matter as long as it's Survivor? I do. Number 40, which is Winners at War, the most recent one. The oh, one wow. which has not yet finished, so Patrick. But so don't you <laughs> yeah. dare, if you know who won it, don't you dare say anything. <laughs> Because I'll be watching that tomorrow night between six and seven. It's going to be a huge battle for wins. me. You do know who wins. You do know. Do. Yeah. Okay. Well, shh, Patrick. Shush. <laughs> so it's going to be. It's going to be a huge battle for me tomorrow night because at half past six, Chelsea take to the field against Manchester United. Oh wow! And between six and seven is the final episode of oh, wow. Winners at War. So, it's so which a- one are you going to be recording? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, I, I'm. It's. If this is the biggest decision I have to face all weekend, I'll be okay. <laughs> Indeed. Well, Patrick, I'll hand you over to John. Good luck. Uh, remember, you need a score of eight. Uh, yeah, Thank Patrick. You. Eight takes us to a potential sudden death. And uh, if you like Kamva, get seven or fewer. I'm afraid your participation is over. Good luck to you. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Please start the clock, Mario. Three, two, one. Spell the word confess. C-O-N-F-E-S-S. Correct. Complete the saying, he's a man after my own what? Heart. Correct. True or false, marsupials feed their young milk? True. Correct. Does the word mangle mean crush or heal? Crush. Correct. Give the noun in this phrase, don't play in the street. Three. Correct. Which is an odd number, 12 or 17? 17. Correct. In cartoons, what colour shorts does Mickey Mouse usually wear? Black. Red. Which country is closer to South Africa, Malawi or Ethiopia? Malawi. Correct. True or false, Port Elizabeth lies on the N1 National Road? False. Correct. Which is a South African town, Beira or Bishu? Bishu. Correct. What is the difference between 33 and 19? 13. No, 14. Correct. What is the third letter in the word innocent? O. N. The texting abbreviation RBTL stands for what between the lines? Um, read. Correct. In which provincial capital does the Doozy Canoe Marathon begin? Uh, pass. Peter Maritzburg. So we completed 14 questions 
And I think Patrick did very well. He's a man after my own heart. You got that one. Um, would you, Africa, have known what color shorts, been able to guess what color shorts Mickey Mouse wears? Of course not. No. no. Um, I know that he's generally painted in black, so, uh, and with some white things or whatever they guess. But you I would have not have known. Stefan's dissing face. Man, you were throwing shade when Africa said he would not. I don't think I would have guessed correctly either. I mean, it's so long since I looked at a mm. Mickey Mouse cartoon. Perhaps it's more more a regular part of your daily reading still. <laughs> you think you would have known, do you? Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Uh, Malawi's a lot closer to us than Ethiopia is, although Ethiopia and Malawi are not that far apart. Sort of hit the northern border of Malawi, take a relatively sharp turn right, go for about 11, 1200 Ks, and there you will be. Um, I don't know what you're going to do about 11. He first gave us an incorrect answer and very quickly corrected himself. So that's a judge's decision. He corrected himself before you started correct. adjudicating by saying correct or incorrect. So we will accept. I must admit, John, if they had not made that decision, I would have overruled them and given Patrick I'm not that sure answer. you have the power. I know. I now would have tried anyway. <laughs> How did Patrick do, Stefan? We're chasing a score of eight. That's the score to beat. Patrick also completed 14 questions and scored 11. 11. Patrick, how are you feeling about that score? Uh, very good. <laughs> better, than Mon- better than Wednesday. Oh, what did you do on Wednesday? Remind us. I got six. Well, also in, on Wednesday, you had 60 seconds to answer 15 questions, whereas this time sure. around you had to go through more. So but you, it you does were, not matter. Let's do some math here. You've got 50% more time. So um, if you were performed consistently, you would have got 57, 50% more. So Africa, what would have been his par score? Or nine. There we go. So therefore, you have actually done better than Wednesday. Exactly. So you are right. You see, this is why John is a clever one, and I'm just the other person <laughs> that is sitting here. Patrick, all the best. We'll see whether Thursday's uh, junior brain, Olivia, will be able to better that. She's 10 years old, currently attending grade five at Somerset House. Her favorite subjects are coding, mathematics, science, and in her spare time, she enjoys drawing, dancing, and playing with her cats. Olivia, a very good morning. How are you feeling this morning? I'm nervous. Understandably. Um, can I just, I'm going to talk to your mom after this and see if I can come to you for some coding lessons because I know nothing whatsoever about coding, but I'm told it's something that's important to learn. I will now hand you over to John Matham, okay? Who knows a lot about coding. Color of course coding. he does. Color coding. <laughs> so I, 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 every single morning, I make absolutely sure that none of my clothes match in any color coded way. So and that takes a lot of effort. A lot of effort. Um, Olivia, what are your, how many cats do you have? Three, but one of them never shows up. <laughs> I, I, I say that I've got one and a half cats because one is always around and the other one occasionally shows up. Showed up at quarter to four this morning and scratched on my door and demanded to be let in. So you've got one that just never shows up. Yes. Okay. Uh, Olivia, you need to get at least 11. It's tough, but it can be done, and I hope for your sake that you do it, that you get at least 11. Are you ready? Yes. Mario, please start the clock. Three, two, one. Spell the word embrace. E-M-B-R-A-C-E. Correct. Complete the saying, he is as what as a fiddle? Pass. Fit. True or false, snakes are invertebrates. True or false. Correct. Does the word spirit mean body or soul? Soul. Correct. Give the noun in this phrase. She wears a red dress. Three. Correct. Which is an even number, 22 or 25? 22. Correct. What colour is the genie in the movie Aladdin? Blue. Correct. Which country is closer to South Africa, Libya or Tanzania? Tanzania. Correct. True or false, Kimberley lies on the N2 National Road. False. Correct. Which one is a South African town, Caledon or Glasgow? Caledon. Correct. What is the sum of 19 and 17? 36. Correct. What is the third letter in the word conscious? Correct. On social media, you react to something stupid with a what palm? um, Pass. Face palm. Which is South Africa's northernmost provincial capital? Pretoria. Polokwane. In which part of your body are your triceps? 
Your arms. Correct. From which province is the Maritzburg United Soccer Club? Did you know? Would you have been able to guess? No, it is in uh, KwaZulu-Natal is the province. Fit as a fiddle. Snakes are vertebrates. They have a backbone, so they qualify as vertebrates. Um, again, I'm not sure that I would have known what colour the genie in the movie Aladdin is. I would is. have, because would have? Will Smith played the live-action uh, version of it, okay. a genie, and he was blue. Okay. So therefore you see it everywhere on the screen. Uh, Kimberley is on the N8 and the N12. Glasgow is a town in Scotland. Stefan. Olivia has to beat a score of 11. Olivia did complete more questions than any of the contestants so far, and of the 15, managed to get 12 correct. Wow. Olivia, you must be absolutely excited. 12 is now the score to beat, and there's only one contestant left. That's Friday's Iris. Uh, Iris is 11 years old, currently doing grade 6 at Rustenburg Golds Junior School. Her favorite subject, mathematics, enjoys reading, painting, drawing, camping, and recently started scouts. Iris, a very good morning. How are you feeling today? Um, nervous. You can use those nerves, Iris, to give you a score of 12 or more, no doubt. Here's John. And Nikki has just sent me a, a picture of um, Mickey Mouse. There we go. Red. See? There we go. Proof. Thank you, Nikki. Mickey Mouse. Did you know that, Iris? Did you know that Mickey Mouse wears red pants? Yes. Okay. Well, I hope you get a question, um, a similar question to that, that you know the answer to. You need at least 12. Otherwise, Olivia is a winner. And she's our youngest contestant so far, I think. You can't let the young ones win, Iris. You've got to show that the older children know more than the younger ones. Are you ready? Yes. Please start the clock, Mario. Three, two... One. Spell the word forgery. O R G O R Y. Incorrect. Complete the saying. He's a sight for sore eyes. Correct. True or false? Crayfish have backbones. True. False. Does the word fundi mean expert or founder? Founder. Expert. Give the verb in this phrase. We love a big breakfast. Love. Correct. Which is an odd number, 16 or 19? 19. Correct. In cartoons, what colour are the bodies of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Green. Correct. Which country is closer to South Africa, Angola or Sudan? Sudan. Angola. True or false, Pretoria lies on the N1 National Road? True. Correct. Which is a South African town, Zanin or Baira? Vira. Zanine, what is the difference between 35 and 18? Pass. 17, what is the third letter in the word negligent? G. Correct. The texting abbreviation TMI stands for too much what? Information. Correct. Which provincial capital is the closest to Port Elizabeth? Pass. Bishu, in which part of your body are your lats? Legs. The back. From which province is the Warriors cricketer franchise? The answer is the Eastern Cape. We didn't have time for you to answer that. Forgery is F-O-R-G-E-R-Y. Crayfish do not have backbones. They are invertebrates. Fundi means expert, and it's an interesting because that comes from uh, from Latin, whereas mfundisi, which is the glossa word for teacher, is very similar. We love a big breakfast. You got all of that right. Angola is a lot closer to South Africa than Sudan. Uh, Zanin is up in Limpopo, very pretty town, part of the sort of Machubachskloof area, very beautiful up there. And uh, Bishu is the provincial capital, which is the closest to Kebecha. That is the new name for Port Elizabeth. <laughs> Get used to it and practice pronouncing it. Perhaps, John, we should have somebody on the radio to teach people how to pronounce the word. People Kebecha. have got to want to learn, though, and Very I'm not true. sure how many do. Very true. Well, Iris, you needed to score uh, 12 or more to either stay in the game or to win the discount voucher worth 1,000 rand that is going to be going to the winner this morning. How did Iris do? Our Friday winner, Iris, scored... Seven, which means... 
Which means indeed we have to say thank you to Lucy, Gamva, Patrick and to you too, Iris, for playing and for winning the 1,500 Rand throughout the week. Well done and thank you for being so brave to participate in our Junior Brain of Cape Talk. We've really been unbelievably impressed by the incredible work that you've put into it. Um, But it is a hearty, hearty congratulations to you, Olivia. Mm -hmm. A very confident score of 12 has made you the Junior Brain of the final week, winning you a discount with a thousand rand thanks to Cape Talk and Discam, a winning mind in a healthy body. You must be absolutely excited, Olivia. Congratulations. Yes, thanks. <laughs> I love that. Quiet, may, may, confident. You see, I, I don't know whether Discam sells things that, um, you bells maybe, that you can put on cats, so the cat that never shows up. <laughs> I am maybe, sure uh, you, mummy, well and daddy done, Olivia. will come very up with well done. To that. Thank you very much, Olivia. It's been a lot of fun, and thank you to every other junior player for the last four weeks. After the break, we find out how the adults are going to do.